Hey there folks, this is Lindy Ford, registered dietitian, clinical and licensed nutritionist and nutrition detective. So we've been talking a lot about gut health. So thank you so much for hanging there with me. Um, this is going to be the next video in the series and then the last one is going to be the last video. And why is gut health so important? We talked about weight control, we talked about mood, and then we talked about how do I optimize my gut health. And so we talked about removing, restoring, and um, repair or re Calculating is going to be the day and the last one is going to be on repairing. So oftentimes, um, you know, prescription medication is necessary to restore gut health. That's like one piece of it. And um, we talked about that when we talked about remove. We have to remove any of the parasites, any of uh, bacteria, viruses through antifungal medications or maybe a targeted antibiotic. But really, truly folks, the biggest piece of this the most gigantic piece of this is really nutrition. Food and supplementation is going to restore your gut health. And so that is, that is absolutely the most important part. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today, a little bit about what we're gonna be talking about. One of my favorite gastroenterologists is Dr. Gerard Mullen, and he is at, at Johns Hopkins. He actually wrote a book about GI health called The Inside Track. He co-wrote this with a registered dietitian. Can you even believe that? Yes, he did. And her name is Kathy Madonna Swift. And Kathy Swift actually said this quote. She said that diet and nutrition therapy should be the first route to obtaining gut health, not the alternative. In Western medicine, they prescribe. Sometimes uh, we do need to prescribe to get rid of some of those offenders, but really to restore it, it's about food. It's about nutrition. So the third R that we're going to talk about today is re-inoculate. In 2007, um, they started the American Gut Project, and that was this big, big research study that was done on American guts. So they studied a lot of people's gut samples and uh, just made this big body of research about what's going on in our gut and how we can optimize gut health. And it was interesting because a guy named Michael Pollan wrote about this in the New York Times in an article that was called um, Some of Our Best Friends Are Germs. And uh, he wrote all about gut health, but he asked the researchers of the American Gut Project, okay, in light of all this research, you've been doing this guys for six, seven years, in light of all of this research, what are your recommendations? And guess what they said? We don't have any. No recommendations? Are you kidding me? He couldn't believe that. And the reason that they said that was because they knew that the research was too new. They also didn't want to make all, this re all these claims and have everybody jump on the supplement or the probiotic bandwagon because they knew that that might happen. It kind of, you know, the whole supplement quackery thing. And I respect that. I really do. Because there are companies that have been out there for years and years and years doing the right thing when it comes to supplementing for the gut. And those are the ones that I really trust. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about re-inoculate because we've kind of laid the groundwork of the, of the gut. Now we want to get the good guys back into town, right? We have to get those big, those good germs back in our gut so that they can be optimally healthy. And with probiotics, it gets a little tricky, folks. I know that people will come to my office saying to me, oh, I tried a probiotic and it did not work because I tried a little bit of acidophilus or I went to the drugstore and I got me some Align and it didn't work. Well, for crying out loud, um, it didn't work because you didn't use the right probiotics. So when it comes to probiotics, you really do need the help of a health professional. I, 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 have, to, I have to say that because they're, they're tricky. There's some probiotics for IBS. There's better pro probiotics for GERD. But one of the ones that I use actually has 150 CFUs, which is the strength of the probiotic, as well as 40 different strains. So we know that a very diverse gut is a healthy gut. This thing has 40 different freaking strains and it's it's a really it's almost like um trying to race a bicycle against a porsche i mean there's just no competition right so really you you know just having any old probiotic is not going to do it for you you have to do one that's powerful enough to take care of your condition 
right? So the other thing that we can do to re-inoculate is fermented foods. And that's an easy one. That is a really easy one, guys, that anybody can do. And you might say, well, what in the world's a fermented food? This is just food that has gone through a fermentation process that has a lot of those good microorganisms in them that are going to help your gut. And one of those is sauerkraut. You can just get this from any grocery store in the refrigerated section. This is one that I like. It's the Woodstock organic sauerkraut. It's shelf stable. Then you put it in the refrigerator. I eat this almost every day. I have my patients. Even if you just eat a couple tablespoons a day, it's going to help you. The other one that I really like is something called kombucha. Yes, it's called kombucha. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but this is a really, Kavita is a very good brand. I get this at Whole Foods. It's not cheap. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not cheap. But I love this one. Just make sure that your kombucha is refrigerated and make sure that it is very low in carbohydrate and sugar. You don't want a lot of sugar in your kombucha. The other thing you can, you can um, consume is kimchi, which is Korean sauerkraut, and that's a that's another really good one. And the other one is kefir. Kefir is a fermented milk product. Just make sure, guys, that it doesn't have a lot of sugar. I mean, some of them are they're they're not even worth it. They have so many so much sugar. You if you're gonna do yogurts, it's those are tricky because most yogurts don't have enough microorganisms in them to make them worthwhile. So you have to get something like Stonyfield Farms, low sugar one, like a vanilla or whatever. So make sure it is a good quality yogurt, right? So the next time we are going to talk about repairing and what foods and supplements will repair your gut and then you're going to have the full spectrum of how to restore and heal your gut. It's exciting, I know. Uh, so thank you so much for watching today. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter or subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please, 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 I'm brand new doing this. I really appreciate that. And I am Lindy Ford, and um, I just believe that everybody deserves to be optimally healthy. Thanks.